Hi, I'm Neil O'Grady, osteopath, and today I'm going to explain a test for ulnar and radial artery impairment in the distal forearm. Okay, so how we do this is ask the patient to place their forearm on the couch like that in a supinated position. I get them to pump the fist like that five or six times, then squeeze the fist tight, and I put my thumb on this side over the ulnar artery and my thumb on this side over the radial artery, just uh, kef lad or superior to the, hypo the tenor and hypothemor eminence. I hold and I compress there like that. And now what I'm gonna do is get you to open your hand out. And initially I'm just gonna take the thumb off the radial artery. And what we're looking for here is a pink flushing of the hand like that to show that it's not impaired and it's got integrity to it. So it's allowing the blood flow back into the wrist. And to check for the ulnar side, we'll repeat that again. So two, three, four, five, six, squeeze, compress the arteries, hold them there for a few seconds. And now open the hand again. And this time I'll take my thumb off the ulnar artery and I'll watch this area here, the hypothenar eminence, see if it goes pink and flushes and goes red. That's a negative test. Positive test would be it doesn't uh, flush and stays pale white, okay? So that, everybody, is a digital Allen's test for ulnary, ulnar and radial artery impairment. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Talk to you next time. See you there.